we're gonna have to emigrate from this planet at one point or the other. And astronomers, it is our duty to look for the next home. So my focus in the last couple of years is studying uh, the planet Mars so that humans could one day visit and survive. Once you leave the Earth's uh, magnetosphere, you have no protection from the, from the gamma rays and the radiation from space, which are deadly. So first, can we make it to Mars without getting cancer? And then once we get to Mars, Mars has an atmosphere that's relatively thin, which does not protect us from the radiation hazards. So what do we do? Hurricane Maria was in mid-September, and I was in Tampa, Florida, watching the hurricane as it was moving along the Atlantic. I knew it was gonna be a bad one. The infrastructure here is horrendous. With most of my family in Puerto Rico, cousins, uncles, everybody, 24 hours we wouldn't hear anything, 48 hours we wouldn't hear anything. Nosotros estuvimos tratando de comunicarnos con la familia, no se podía, porque no había comunicación. Then about a week later, I think it was the first text message finally from my cousin, he said everybody's okay. I was like, okay, what do you mean by everybody? He goes, everybody's okay. And then it was like a big relief. I was like, okay, everything's, everything's okay. So we're here in Utuado, Puerto Rico, which is the center of the island. Utuado actually means in between the mountains. It's just one big valley. And when the storm came through here, uh, it has nowhere to go. It's like one big funnel. This terrain here is mostly sand. And when we get a lot of rain and you've got 150 mile per hour winds, the homes were just washed away throughout the night. had tons and tons and tons and tons of debris, uh, mud, human waste from, from the destroyed homes. I basically made this water undrinkable. This, this is enough water for 20 families for today. That's the goal. Give them a case of water. All right, let's go give out this water. I grew up here uh, in Utuado in the 80s and 90s. I remember, I think I was 10 years old and I was with my buddy. We used to dress up as army and we'd go camping up in the mountains. And I was not too far from here looking up at the stars and I saw my first meteor shower. It was like fireworks. I'm in awe. I thought that was probably one of the coolest things in the world. From that point forward, I knew uh, I wanted to be a scientist. That right there behind the trees, that is Mars. And this is what I call the Parade of Planets. So if I go this way to over here, that's Saturn. We can't see, oh, there it is. And that is Jupiter. So. If I straighten them up in a line, right, that's the path around the sun. That is the orbit around the sun, which we call that the ecliptic, so that's pretty cool. The great thing about this hematite, it protects you from the radiation, right? So if we can build igloos, huts, and complexes where the astronauts can live in and be protected, then their survival increases. We're not gonna survive on any other planets in the solar system as a species if we don't take care of each other here. It's just not gonna happen, period. I drop off water. I don't ask for any questions. I don't ask for any money. And I just move on to the next house. See? Emotionally, yeah, this is hard for me, especially seeing my people suffering from all this. Bueno, mi gente, sin luz, sin agua, sin casa, mucho, una cosa muy triste. Puede, yo te ayudo, así que. Hizo donaciones para ayudar aquí a mi pueblo, a mi gente. Una cosa bonita que yo no se lo dije que lo hiciera. Fue decisión de él. I feel 
glad that if I can just help one person and make them smile for a couple hours, I think for me that's a big success. So when I saw what happened in Puerto Rico, it was more than just, that's my island. I saw it as, these are human beings. We're all in the same little bubble on Earth.